Okay, thanks again for joining us this week for another Tackle Tip of the Week. This week's tip has to do with casting, um, bait casting reel. Now, in a previous Tackle Tip, we talked about how to set the spool speed to reduce backlashes and increase your uh, casting distance. Another simple trick, and I use this a lot with braided line, especially on a musky reel. These are actually the reels I use. It's a low profile Corrado, Shimano Corrado. Uh, it's one of the reels that I use. But one trick to help reduce backlashes, but really to keep your distance, allow you to cast uh, quite far, is when you cast, when you bring your arms forward, and I've got this short piece, a lot easier in here to demonstrate this. Um, when you bring that forward, turn your wrist sideways so that line is going out more like that than like this. It'll go through your guides a lot smoother and allow you to get 5, 10, 15 more feet on a cast or more than that. Um, it's a simple little trick and it works great. So remember when you bring that forward, just kind of twist your wrist a little bit and turn that reel 90 degrees and you will get more distance on that cast. All right, thanks again for joining us this week for another Tackle Tip of the Week. Um, this week's tip has to do with deer scents. Not all deer scents are created equal. Most on the market are pure deer urine, um, which is great, and uh, I use some of that myself. But another product that's on the market is from Kishel's, and he's been making scents for quite a while. And these are uh, no shelf life, like a synthetic type scent. Um, the beauty with these, there's no shelf life. So whatever you don't use, you can recap that bottle and use it next season. There is a Doe Passion, Buck Thrasher, there's also a Mock Scrape Kit. And there's instructions on how to use this kit also. Um, but these are great scents, and like I said, no shelf life. And uh, with the opening of Archery on Saturday, not really in the rut yet, but it's coming. So get your scents. So that's our Tackle Tip for this week. Uh, join us again next week for another Tackle Tip of the Week. If you have any advice on a future tip, please let us know. And we should talk late. Good night, everybody. Yep.